guys, this is the Independent Investor Channel and fitting enough, we're coming to you from New York City. Really, this is kind of the heart of the action, the financial action. It happens right here. Um, I've actually personally been down to this uh, New York Stock Exchange. It's really quite amazing. And for a lot of people that's being turned on to the Independent Investor Channel, they're really finding out that the accessibility to that market really isn't as exclusive as everybody would want you to think. Um, guys, my name is Ryan. Welcome. We're going to be talking about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So please enjoy, guys. First of all, we're going to talk about information technology, and there is no bigger. The actual newest addition to the Dow Jones is Apple Computers, all right? We're sitting at um, around $810 billion. They will be approaching a trillion dollars here within the next couple of years, I have no doubt in my mind. Um, there's actually six stocks that make up information tech, and it's actually 33% of the Dow Jones industries. Apple Computer, Microsoft at closing in on $600 billion market cap, uh, Visa, uh, Intel, Cisco, and IBM. So those six stocks right there, guys, is a perfect start. Now, 33% of the uh, Dow Jones Industrials made up of these six companies. And if you're looking to start and, and get some technology exposure, I recommend 19% of any portfolio out there has around 19% of exposure, okay? These are the companies that you wanna be looking at, and I start with Apple first, all right, guys? Um, the next four companies are gonna be our representatives from the healthcare sector, all right? Uh, this is actually 15% of the Dow Jones. We're talking about Johnson & Johnson. You guys are going to hear these names. They're going to sound familiar to you. Uh, Pfizer, okay, both long-term holdings of mine. Uh, and then to round those four off, you've got uh, United Health and you've got Merck, all right? So those are the four representations in the healthcare sector of the Dow Jones Industrial, all right? Um, consumer staples, all right? There's only three of them in the Dow Jones that are part of the consumer staples, uh, and it's 11% within just these three companies, all right? Um, I'm long-term holders of two out of these three. Walmart, Procter & Gamble, and Coca-Cola Bottling Company, all right? Just those three out of the uh, consumer staples group, all right? Next is going to be the industrial sector, all right? We've actually got the longest uh, member of the Dow Jones Industrials part of this group, and that's General Electric coming in just under $200 billion of market cap. Um, we've got General Electric. We've got Boeing, who's been one of the two singular most, uh, the biggest contributors to this Dow Jones Industrial over this bull run that we've had, and then 3M being the other one. So both of them coming from the industrials, segment of this particular industry, all right? 10% make up these companies. And then to round it out, a long-term holding of mind is United Technologies um, and then Caterpillar, the industrial behemoth, right? Um, really, really uh, benefiting from all this talk about the industrial companies and taking off in the industrial sector. All right, so those five in the industrial sector. Then we've got energy, the two, I call them the brother and sister here in the US. I'm a long-term holding of one of these, uh, Exxon Mobil and Chevron in the energy sector, uh, part of the Dow Jones Industrial, and that makes up 9% of that indice. All right, then we've got financials. Financials is a really, really important one. And we've got the biggest bank in the Dow Jones Industrial, which is J.P. Morgan Chase, at $337 billion. We've got Goldman Sachs, we've got American Express, and we've got Travelers. All right, those four represent the financials uh, uh, contribution to the Dow Jones. Then we've got consumer discretionary. You guys are going to recognize some of these. The largest by market cap being Home Depot. Um, and then we've got Disney, which is a long-term holding of mine. Uh, and to round it out, we've got McDonald's and we've got Nike. All right. So guys, if you're looking for exposure in the consumer discretionary, right, you need to start with these, these funds first or these stocks first. These are the biggest ones um, in these sectors. And this is kind of where you start to educate yourself on, on speaking about different stocks in different sectors. All right. So that's 8% of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, Home Depot, Disney, McDonald's, and Nike. Um, and then in the telecom services, 
um, a, a major holding of mine, I've owned it for years, is Verizon. Again, just under $200 billion. An absolute behemoth in Verizon, um, the number one uh, telecom services company out there, and it's the only one that contributed, contributes to the Dow Jones at 3%. Um, and then in the material sector, another smaller contributor at 3% um, is uh, Dow DuPont, which just finished its merger uh, September 1 of 2017. Um, and it will be on my stocks to buy next month. And that's Dow DuPont, guys. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. When you're looking at the financial landscape and it's a confusing desert, all right, um, take it slow, but start at these, you know, pinnacle indices to start to kind of pick out some of these names that you'll recognize, guys. A lot of these companies you probably have done business with your whole life. And, and a lot of people think that they have to try to outsmart or outmaneuver the market, guys. Um, if you were going to tell me to put a new uh, investor in an NVIDIA or an AMD, uh, as opposed to a, a Home Depot and a McDonald's, I'm going to take the Home Depot and McDonald's every single time, guys. And, and that's why I talk about not trying to outsmart the market, guys. A lot of the times, you really don't have to look a whole lot further than what's represented in the Dow Jones Industrial Big 30. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the Independent Investor channel, guys. If it's your first time to the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you like the content that you hear, please share the link with anybody out there that you know. We talk about the stock market. We talk about real estate. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and good luck in your investment future.